this statement is that it's ongoing whether from the ruling party i don't even care where it's really coming from but i know uh everybody's aware of this oh igbo can never no igbo man can be president in this country igbo man can never be president in this country oh b can never be president are you are you okay no tell me are you okay the same you you will tell us that uh, nigeria has not been good you have been suffering your forefathers 95 percent of nigerians have been suffering so those who are even will think that they are enjoying they are not up to five percent they are not up to five percent since 1960 to date many nigerians have been suffering and they, when you when you check across nigeria you see that almost everybody across the country everybody is suffering almost everybody is suffering irrespective of whatever you believe 95 percent of nigerians across board are suffering all over the place not that uh, oh it is only the yorubas that are suffering or oh, it is only kogi people everybody the suffering eh, is where it's evenly distributed when it comes to poverty and suffering and the same set of people will not come out and be telling you that eh, an igbo man cannot be president oh this person cannot be president and now that statement is now making obi to get more popularity and people are like ah, ah what is this about this igbo every time igbo this igbo that what is it are you better off your own people are they better off are they pe are your people better off now you people have been in power the other day reno mokri was a, a leading you people on talking nonsense oh it is the, the power will continue to rotate between the north and the southwest at the end of the day wait when i can't gain kilo badeo no wait till you can't wait till you can't gain for inside are you that to anybody who is saying that oh, an igbo man can never be president in this country that means the person needs to visit a psychiatric hospital because again you need to ask yourself then my people that have been there what have, have i gained what have we gained what have we gained some people say where well, they swear for some people whether suffering you know they just love that suffering they and they they i don't think they are bothered about it they love the suffering or they are they are uh, uh, they need psychiatric treatment because i can't be pursuing something or hating something at the end of the day the thing is not it's not favoring me and i'll continue you do thing one thing over and over again and you expect different results the next these are the same people that will not go to church um and go to mosque and be praying or they will just ah, within their mind they will just be wishing oh how nigeria will be better but you know because everybody knows that a uh, at uh, tinubu does not have a he doesn't have a good uh, good history he doesn't have it we knew it it's not as if uh, they, are, they are surprised. They are not surprised. At the end of the day, what has he done for you? Now, they will tell you, he, he made this one, he made this one. Are you okay? Out of uh, millions of people, you will take five people. You will give them all manner of things. Just five people out of one million. The, the other 900 and something, uh, something thousand will come out and be say, hey, now a person, are you okay for me? And one thing, the school of thought that I believe in, even if I'm close to somebody who, you know, I'm close to the power, I'm close to the authority, I feel that I'm enjoying. Because me, I have conscience of what to use. Because you know that definitely that person is not going to be there. Even if the person is going to be there forever. If that person is going to be there forever. and you, So you now have the conscience because, uh, oh, I am close to the person. Now we they run the show. And you see your fellow human beings, other people, because you don't have conscience, suffering. It does not concern you. You know, I always say this is a nonsense of a thing that, oh, some people did not say vote for Tinubu. They didn't vote for APC. And they want a good governance. They want a whatever a gov government pro a presence in their area. That's it to tell you again. I, I say, I made bold to, to say it, that if you are in that category, you need psychiatric treatment. They need to take you to Yaba left, like uh, people used to say in Lagos, Yaba left. Because somebody did not vote. I cannot come and say, oh, uh, I didn't vote for uh, Buhari. I didn't vote for Tinubu. I didn't vote for any anybody. All those uh, people have been passed uh, whatever uh, president. And uh, so I'm not going to pay my tax. Who says who? I don't fit now. How should I? I for the fact that my candidate did not win, there does not mean that I'm not going to. I'm not going to pay my my tax. So how do you now say come and run as if the person is using his personal money? Ha. Huh. In fact, a lot of people know well oh, for this our Bodo Nigeria. They know your well at all. When you see or hear the way some people reason, you begin to wonder. So now they will tell you these people cannot be this, these people cannot be this. I always say it. We have 
good people in southwest in south south in the city political zones in this country nigeria we have good people also we have bad people unfortunately the bad people are the ones who are who are taking it by force who are using all manner of things violence take it grab it and run with it anyhow you want to do it they are the ones who have been at the end of affair all this way that is why nigeria is not moving forward oh even if you think that oh uh, somebody from uh, the Igbo extraction we should not make that mistake we should not make that mistake let me tell you if it was if Nigeria are choosing or APC have presented Yemi Oshibajo oh my god this situation will not be like this you know this uh, Oshibajo this matter will not be like this but not be that kind of person where they there now where we see not being supposed they there and that's why we are having problem we know all the atrocities, everything attached to him. And you want good governance? Now God has exposed them. He builds Lagos, propaganda, lies, telling all the, that kind of lie to our faces. Now, what is happening now? What is happening? It's not as if they don't know, just because of it. You know one thing, eh? some people, you think that, oh, because they are gaining something. Some people know they gain anything. No? They just want to support. I just want to support. That's it. Not that they are gaining anything. That is how bad it is. If uh, people who are gaining are uh, trying to defend what is not right, you see, you know that uh, they are fighting or working for something, but you are not working, you are not getting anything. You, you are there defending nonsense. So this idea, Igbo will not be this. Like I always say, even if you go carry any irresponsible person from Igbo extraction, we are still going to get the same problem. We will get the same problem. Oh, I was a fool, I was a fool, I this and that. Uh, they have a, a something that you attach. Uh, to them let me tell you if you have good people from the, and, and they are good people unfortunately we have not been able to get the right person when people say oh we don't need to divide we don't need to divide as a country yes that is the beauty of it but unfortunately when you have something that you are not managing it you are not using it well that means that thing is as useless as even who do not even have so if our population and everything they are using as as lies that it's it's going to is you know is our strength is what make us a, a unique but we're not making use of it then the best thing let us divide because even if you think that uh, when you divide the divide a country it is going to it could be the same but you know that uh, you are dealing you know the demons you are dealing with in your own area because as it is as it is now we have demons all over the place in this is geopolitical zone you will deal, this, deal, deal with this one the ones that in your own area we we we, we join them to be fighting you so that is what we are talking about the problems will be minimized and i believe that if we have a, a good a good leader who is not there to go and steal who does not have record of stealing if we have somebody like that definitely nigeria will, will enjoy nigeria nigeria will be better for it so all these people who are now saying hey book cannot be this and people will now come some people will now come and say that why is it that uh, uh, this uh, v, uh, uh, v, uh, what, the, this uh, way they are vilifying this? It's just too much. Are you guys better? Is your own region? Are your people better off? You to yourself, you better off? You see all this uh, propaganda and all of that? And that's why you see some people now down to see that. What is even wrong with these evil people? Why this? Why this? Why that? Even the people that you think they are good, then what have they brought to the table? How have they turned the fortune of Nigeria around? So guys, I say your opinion and have your take on this.